Dear friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you guys about firewall versus switch. How both devices operates. If you are setting up a network system in your business, it's important to make sure that you understand the basic components. You need to know how each piece of equipment operates and runs when protecting your network. It's true to say that components of a computer network are often confused because they look the same. However, while they may have similar structures, each one has a completely different role in your network. Operating together, they ensure that your network is protected. Firewalls and switches are all essential pieces of equipment needed to run and protect your network. While these components are often confused due to their similar appearance, metal boxes with physical ports and LED status lights. Each one serves a specific function. Here is presenting the distinguishing features and capabilities of switches and firewalls network device. Dear friends, please watch my video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and comment on my video. Firewall versus Switch A firewall, also known as a shield, is a network security system that is set between an internal network and an external network. Typically, firewalls can protect internal or private lands from external attacks and prevent important data from being compromised. In the absence of a firewall, the router passes traffic blindly between the internal network and the external network with no filtering mechanism. And the firewall not only monitors the traffic but also blocks unauthorized traffic. In short, his work is antivirus intrusion prevention. URL filtering, file filtering, content filtering, application behavior control. Mail filtering, protection against common DDoS attacks, traditional single packet attacks. A switch is an intelligent, high-performance hub. As data is sent back and forth through the switch, it records MAC addresses, unique identification number for network-enabled hardware for each sender and recipient. In this process, the switch learns which device is connected to which port. In a local area network LAN, a switch is similar to a bridge in a city. Its main function is to connect other network devices, routers, firewalls, and wireless access points, and connect client devices, computers, servers, network cameras, and IP printers. In short, a switch can provide a central connection point for all the different devices on the network. What is firewall? Firewalls prevent unauthorized access to networks through software or firmware. By utilizing a set of rules, the firewall examines 
and blocks incoming and outgoing traffic. Firewalls are used to secure a computer network. Firewalls are network security systems that prevent unauthorized access to a network. It can be a hardware or software unit that filters the incoming and outgoing traffic within a private network. According to a set of rules to spot and prevent cyber attacks, firewalls are used in enterprise and personal settings. They are a vital component of network security. Most operating systems have a basic built-in firewall. However, using a third-party firewall application provides better protection. Why are firewalls important? Firewalls are designed with modern security techniques that are used in a wide range of applications. In the early days of the internet, networks needed to be built with new security techniques, especially in the client-server model, a central architecture of modern computing. That's where firewalls have started to build the security for networks with varying complexities. Firewalls are known to inspect traffic and mitigate threats to the devices. Types of Firewalls A firewall can either be software or hardware. Software firewalls are programs installed on each computer and they regulate network traffic through applications and port numbers. Meanwhile, Hardware firewalls are the equipment established between the gateway and your network. Additionally, you call a firewall delivered by a cloud solution as a cloud firewall. There are multiple types of firewalls based on their traffic filtering methods, structure and functionality. A few of the types of firewalls are Number 1. Packet filtering A packet filtering firewall controls data flow to and from a network. It allows or blocks the data transfer based on the packet's source address, the destination address of the packet the application protocols to transfer the data, and so on. Number 2. Proxy Service Firewall This type of firewall protects the network by filtering messages at the application layer. For a specific application, a proxy firewall serves as the gateway from one network to another. Number 3. Stateful Inspection Such a firewall permits or blocks network traffic based on state, port, and protocol. Here, it decides filtering based on administrator-defined rules and context. Number 4. Next Generation Firewall According to Gartner Inc.'s definition, the next generation firewall is a D-packet inspection firewall that adds application-level inspection, intrusion prevention and information from outside. The firewall to go beyond port or protocol, inspection and blocking. Number 5. Unified Threat Management UTM Firewall 
a UTM device generally integrates the capabilities of a stateful inspection, firewall, intrusion prevention, and antivirus in a loosely linked manner. It may include additional services and, in many cases, cloud management. UTMs are designed to be simple and easy to use. Number 6. Threat-focused NGFW These firewalls provide advanced threat detection and mitigation. With network and endpoint event correlation, they may detect evasive or suspicious behavior. Definition of switch Whenever we talk about the switches, we must specify the level at which the switch operates. We have two types of switches. A two-layer switch, three-layer switch. The two-layer switch operates on two layers. Example, physical and data link layer. A two-layer switch has similar functionality as that of a bridge, but has faster forwarding capability and greater efficiency. On the other hand, a three-layer switch acts as a router, which receives, process and forwards the packet. Two-layer switch In this video, we are discussing two-layer switch, which is similar to the multiport bridges. It can connect multiple network segments. A switch has a buffer for the each link connected to it. Here, the receiving link buffers store the packet and check for the outgoing link. If the outgoing link is free, switch sends the packet onto the outgoing link. Switches are fabricated on two strategies that are store and forward and cut through. The store and forward switch stores the frame in the receiving links buffer until the entire packet arrives. On the other hand, the cut-through switch forwards the packet as soon as the destination address of the frame is identified. Every switch has a control unit and a switch table. The control unit processes the frame to find the destination address of the frame and consults the switch table to find on which link the intended receiver is connected. Difference between firewall versus switch A switch can provide a central connection point for all the different devices on the network. A firewall, also known as a shield, is a network security system that is set between an internal network and an external network. Unlike switches and firewalls are network security appliances, while routers without firewall capabilities blindly pass traffic between two separate networks. Firewalls monitor the traffic and helps block unauthorized traffic coming from the outside, trying to get into your network. Conclusion Does the switch have the firewall function? Can I use it as a firewall? Normal switches do not have this function. Because firewall functionality is carried out over layer 3, so it is possible to support firewall functionality only with layer 3 switches. For example, some layer 3 switches can be configured with ACL access control rules. Filtering packets on 
the interface according to set conditions, rules, behavior control, and other partial firewall functions. In cases where network security requirements are not high, it is possible to completely ignore firewalls. Dear friends, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to comment on my video. I will keep making these types of useful videos in future. So stay connected and make sure to subscribe the my channel is growing continuously due to your support. Thank you.